Hi there and a very warm welcome to August's Writerly Witterings with me, Maria Franklin, author, poet and creative writing teacher. It's great to have you here and I hope you're having a wonderful summer um, full of lots of uninterrupted writing time. But if not, this is what this uh, video this month is all about, how to get going again if you feel that you've stalled as a writer. Um, so some suggestions um, for for restarting which which can uh, benefit uh, any writer uh, so as you know you don't need me to tell you writing does take a, a huge amount of uh, self-discipline um, especially with so many other things competing for our uh, attention so you know from day jobs to family commitments or even just finding that that creative energy and um, I think you know sometimes it's a little wonder that we we manage to keep going with with the writing as as well at the same time there's so many things that we we also have to do uh, and then there's the big life events that happen, things like divorce and bereavement and, and house moves. Um, and uh, I do have a free book on Amazon called Writing Inspiration, a free ebook, which is full of writing prompts that actually addresses those issues directly. So things like bereavement and divorce and house moves and loss of a pet and emptiness syndrome and all sorts of other things, all these other curveballs that life throws at us. So with specific directed writing prompts to uh, to address them so just search for writing inspiration on Amazon and you will be able to download it for free. So my uh, dad died two years ago and I could barely write a word uh, for several months. I was the same when I went through a divorce in 2013 and like many other writers at the start of the pandemic I could barely write a word. I was so consumed with what was going on uh, around us and I think the most important thing is for us to accept that sometimes we do stall as, as writers, sometimes we do hit a bit of a wall. Uh, so this can be for merely creative reasons or it can be to do with, with life uh, getting in the way. And just because something's presenting itself now as an obstacle to us doesn't mean it's going to be there uh, forever. Um, and this month uh, here on my YouTube channel, I'm actually uh, offering uh, a free course called the, the Writer's Block, uh, which will identify 10 of the main blocks that we run into as writers that can befall our writing. And it will offer um, a writing prompt uh, for each one uh, to, to get going again. So, so do, do join me for that uh, this month here on, on my um, YouTube channel. Uh, it starts, I think, on the second Monday of the month, well, whatever, I'm not quite sure what the date that is, but I will be. If you're on my Keep In Touch list, uh, which you can join through visiting my website, mariafranklin.co.uk, um, you will be notified by that automatically. And if you hit subscribe here on my YouTube channel, you'll also, um, it will come up on your feed when I uh, start recording those. Okay, so the first thing you can do is, is just identify what gets in your way uh, as a writer and that identification of the obstacle will help you be able to put things in place yourself that will uh, overcome any kind of writer's block or, or stalling uh, feeling. Uh, so do, uh, if you have any suggestions uh, or strategies of your own, do post them into the comments below this video, share them with, with other writers and with me of course. Um, but you know how you feel when, you, when you're not writing. It's as though something really big is missing from your life. You've, you've got a yearning to get back to it, yet the further away you get from whatever you've been working on, the harder it is to pick it back up again. Um, so. Um, although I've, I've talked about the uh, the YouTube uh, videos that I'm uh, posting this month, the writer's block, they offer specific advice and some prompts, but I'm going to give you now some general tips to get yourself uh, going again. So firstly, start small. You don't need to launch straight back in to a half written novel when picking it back up where you left off. Make some notes, write a piece of flash fiction or, or a poem or, or even a journal entry just to get back into the swing of, of writing again. 
and the second thing you can do is read so this in itself will uh, it'll reawaken your own creativity and it, it will reignite that essence of the story uh, inside you the next thing you can do is get out and about to to really uh, rocket fuel your creativity again. You know, people watch, uh, eavesdrop on conversations and absorb uh, all the environments that you visit. But don't forget to have a notebook with you. The other thing you can do is look around for current um, writing competitions um, and these are great for, sh for shorter pieces like a, a story, a short story or a piece of flash fiction or a poem and as well as giving you a theme uh, or a prompt to write towards they're also giving you a deadline as well so that's great to get you going again. The other thing you could do is find a writing group, either online or one that you attend in person. I don't think there's any greater incentive to write than to be around uh, other writers and uh, that, that collective uh, creative energy that surrounds them. Um, you could also schedule some very short bursts of writing time in for yourself. You'll really look forward to them beforehand, really anticipate them and plan how you're going to spend them before you actually get to them. And if you were halfway through a, a large project before life got in your way, then read back everything that you've written so far. So all your first draft material and any notes you made and allow it all to be rekindled and come back to life uh, within you. So if you can follow some of these ideas, I promise you'll be raring to dig out your notebook or dust off your laptop again. Uh, I think the important thing is just to start slow and not put too much uh, pressure on yourself with it. So as you'll probably agree, once you're a writer, you're always a writer. It runs through you like a stick of rock and you will get going again. And uh, your writing's in the blood. Once you start again, you won't, you won't be able to stop. So and, and if you could benefit from some more structured support or uh, regular writing motivation then look no further than the year long courses uh, that I offer um, where I walk beside you every step of the way as you write a novel or your life story or a collection of poems or a collection of uh, short stories and all four of those courses promise that you will achieve a finished book uh, within a year uh, this is achieved through a combination of video and help sheets and writing activities and regular output writing output suggestions um, and of course there's a that today I'm on your back guarantee as you would expect and an instalment option so if you're interested in any of them anyway um, just pop along to my website mariafranklin.co.uk and just visit the appropriate web page you'll see you can download a free first session from the bottom of each web page um, and there's also um, a writer's goodie bag for anybody uh, joining at the moment as well I just thought I'd mention that it's even got the gold pen inside it so so as you may know no, my ethos as a creative writing teacher is to motivate and inspire and support you um, so if there's ever anything that you'd like me to talk about in my blogs that I post on my website or here on my YouTube channel then just drop me a line and let me know and I will see if I can schedule it in for you so uh, enjoy the rest of your writing month and I will be back next month with more writerly witterings for you. Take care. Bye for now.